family members breaking their silence tonight after their beloved sister was hit and killed by a DDOT bus. Janice Bauer killed in June while crossing the street in downtown Detroit. And now her family is suing the city, DDOT and the bus driver. 7 Action News reporter Tiara Braddock with more on what they're alleging and the changes they want to see. For the first time, we are hearing from the family of Janice Bauer. She was killed after being hit by a DDOT bus this past June. We are also seeing for the first time surveillance video showing the moment Janice was struck. I could talk to Janice about anything very non-judgmental and very concerned about people. And she just, she did love the city. Janice Bauer was one of five siblings. Her sisters, Margaret and Linda, say there has been a huge void in their lives ever since she died. You want to go out and do things and call her up and talk on the phone and you can't. Something good happens at work, you want to tell her about it and you can't call her because she's not there. Janice was hit by a DDOT bus as she was crossing the street at Congress in Griswold in downtown Detroit this past summer. Janice's sisters, along with their attorney Heather Adnip, announced on Wednesday that they are suing DDOT, the city of Detroit, and the driver of that bus. The driver of the bus that hit Janet was Geraldine Johnson. If this bus driver hadn't been driving that day, my sister would still be here. According to Adnip, Johnson was involved in several on-the-job accidents. Back in 2015, one of those accidents resulted in a man's death. Johnson was able to continue driving for DDOT after that incident. As for Janice's accident, Johnson has been charged with a moving violation resulting in death. Janice's sisters are now calling for changes within DDOT. Yeah, there has to be changes in employee monitoring and training and procedures and accountability. Linda and Margaret say Janice loved riding the bus and they think she would want DDOT to make changes. She was all about safety. While Detroit city officials wouldn't comment on this lawsuit, they have stated in the past that Johnson was able to drive after that first accident due to a clause in the union contract. Now, we did reach out to the union to get their comment on this situation, but they haven't gotten back to us yet. Tierra Braddock, 7 Action News. All right, Tierra, thank you.